I just wanted to, we wanted to review uh, really continued conversation from the Sheriff's Department conversation we had at the last select board meeting. So um, just to recap that I did a billing review um, that we had started to talk to Andrew Hurley about at the last meeting um, for the 17th of August to the 6th of September that the Sheriff's Department billed us for 50 hours, but our approved contractual hours were 45. Uh, there was an overage of five hours, therefore, in that month of billing. Uh, there was clerical billing, which was non-patrol for three and a half hours. Um, I did a little research that may have actually been also double billed to the state. Uh, there was eight and a half hours of backup or overlap billing to Arlington uh, for backup officers and other uh, tasks that the Sheriff's Department completed non-patrol related uh, that resulted in $540 in deceptive billings to the town of Arlington uh, and there was no approvals from the Sheriff's Department for overages uh, on our contract. Uh, no request to Nick or anyone for overages. I then went back a little further. I looked at the July 1st to August 16th bill um, it appears that all of the work was in line with our contractual requirements. There were patrol logs missing, so I wasn't able to fully validate that, uh, but they did bill us for 62 hours. I looked at the most recent invoices, which are in tonight's warrants. Uh, they were within the scope of our contract at 42 hours. The cost of the town was uh, $1,890. There were no tickets issued and two warnings issued. And in my, in my opinion, the performance to cost ratio was quite frankly embarrassing. 42 hours on the road and they didn't issue any tickets and two warnings. So our 14 weeks of law enforcement services to the town of Arlington through the Sheriff's Department was a base cost of $9,315 to us. There were 207 base hours of work, 19 traffic stops, and 11 tickets issued in that time period for that cost. And there were 17 other incidents within the town that the Sheriff's Department responded to um, for a total of $9,315. So, uh, based on our last meeting, Nick and I scheduled a call to follow up with Andrew Hurley, and we had that call on the 6th of October. Uh, Andrew did acknowledge that they went over by five hours. Their solution was rather than credit us back for five hours to just reduce future patrol services to compensate for that overage. Uh, we did review the terms of the contract with Andrew. Andrew refused to agree to getting approvals for time overages. Section four of our contract states that the Sheriff's Department will provide a fully, a fully equipped trained deputy to satisfy law enforcement needs within the town. There is no call out that they will bill us for additional clerical work or um, backup officers. Section five of our contract clearly stated that the fee will be $45 uh, per hour and that include the deputy and cruiser and mileage, and that was completed successfully. And Andrew did, um, the Sheriff's Department's really unable to provide us an audible accounting and cannot provide documentation to where makeup hours or givebacks are completed for the town under section nine of our agreement. And what I mean to that is that often when they send another county officer, maybe he's on duty for Shaftesbury and he's billing Shaftesbury, part of mutual aid, uh, or let's say Shaftesbury needs backup, the, Arl the officer that's on duty for Arlington goes to Shaftesbury. They're still billing us for the time that he is here, but they are supposed to give us audible accounting of the makeup time in accordance with section nine of our agreement. And we've seen none of that to date. And section 10 of the agreement does op outline the compensation to go towards administration of said contract and related services. And I just make that clear because I think that that should cover clerical as well by the scope of the contract. Uh, Andrew stated that the Sheriff's Department cannot guarantee non-variable costs to the town in our call. 
and the Sheriff's Department will bill for officer backups, clerical time, warrants, court time, patrols, etc. So one of the points that Nick and I brought up is if they end up in a court case from uh, an incident that occurs in Arlington and let's say it takes 40 to 50 hours of court time, they would bill us for all of that. And so we could, in theory, blow most of our law enforcement budget on something like that because they're going to bill us for all the time that an officer has to go to court related to a case. Uh, based on our phone call with Andrew, it was made obvious that the Sheriff's Department cannot abide by the terms of the contract and provide the Town of Arlington sufficient controls to prevent cost overruns, nor can they provide sufficient accountability. Um, and it's very concerning because I, I have concerns that the Sheriff's Department cannot abide by the terms of a contract, yet they're, you know, supposed to be abiding by the laws of the state of Vermont. And so that raises additional questions for me. Uh, Andrew clearly did not appreciate Nick and I reviewing the contract terms billing charges to the town of Arlington. Uh, besides reviewing the billing in this particular call, Nick has had to review the terms of the contract and request patrol logs previously from the Sheriff's Department uh, when they were not providing those with the billing. Andrew stated to myself and Nick that he does not wish to continue providing services to the Town of Arlington and will be canceling our contract within 15 days written notice. Uh, and Andrew did send an email to Nick on the 7th of October stating that he has canceled the contract but it is important to note that the signatory on the agreement is Chad D. Schmidt, and therefore Chad Schmidt must terminate the service via written notice. There is no provision in the contract for authorized agents, nor any authorized agents named in the contract. So as of this meeting time this evening, Chad D. Schmidt has not provided official cancellation of the contract. So I have a proposal for a solution. Um, I had Nick reach out to the administrative staff at Vermont State Police, or VSP as I'll refer to them herein, uh, to investigate services for the town of Arlington. Uh, Rupert, I know, also contracts with VSP for similar patrol services. Uh, the VSP does provide a flat rate service to contractual customers. It is a non-variable cost to the municipality. There are no additional charges for backup, going to court, etc. They do charge a higher hourly rate of $75.69 per hour, and the Town of Arlington could contract with VSP for nine hours per week to complement rather than substitute for any existing patrols that they have in our town and stay within our budget for traffic enforcement services. So I did the cost analysis uh, and the time analysis based on uh, our existing patrol logs and even at six less hours per week uh, we would actually see an increase in patrol services in Arlington um, also based on the data provided uh, during our due diligence period of the sheriff's contract negotiation VSP can, can clearly provide us much more legible detailed and accountable data providing the value of tax dollar spending on the service something that we don't get with the Sheriff's Department today. Um, two items here is that I propose that we authorize Town Administrator Nick uh, Zayas to negotiate a contract with VSP for augmented services to the Town of Arlington, give a services presentation and present a contract and budget to the Select Board at our next regularly scheduled meeting. And I also uh, would ask that we have a motion to officially cancel our contract with the Bennington County Sheriff's Office effective the 27th of October, which would be 15 days from today. Our contract does allow for cancellation within 15 days for any reason by, by either, either party. party. Yes. So, I mean, the crux of the matter is we've spent a lot of money and we haven't gotten much for it. And